Now you can see what's happening here. We have to collect water. This is the primary source of water for our whole operation of the building. The big, big roof and a portion of this smaller roof. Much better to bring it into the centre for us. The gutter's not horizontal, it's got a good slope on it all the way through. The very reason for the river is that we've got the landscape moving in. So we've got both ways the landscape moving in that collects the water for the river. And so that's our river in our building. And then by coincidence only, not planned at all. But if you start to look at the mountains, how they move around the horizontality of the mountain up there, and look how it comes to here, and look how it comes down to nothing at the point down there, and look at how our building comes and does the, almost the same sort of thing by coincidence. But it's because of the collection of water, only for the collection of water. So if you get the basics right, lots of other things flow that you never anticipate. If you look at the roof coming up this side and you look at the mountain on the other side, you'll find, see that mountain going down the other side, you'll find a very similar pitch because the pitch of that mountain is similar to the bank pitch here. So we kick that up so that when you come out of your rooms, you're conscious of the native landscape. That they're all aspects to the design of this part of the building. When you move down at the entrance here, you go outside that area there, you don't even know this building is here. That was a very conscious decision. That's why I wanted to build here first, because if we had built up the valley, you start to put pepper and salt all over the valley and it destroys it all. It doesn't keep the rural environment. We wanted to maintain the rural quality that Boyd experienced, and that's how we came to designing the building.